Welcome everyone to the Break Night Creative YouTube channel. I am Craven Knight. I'm a professional wrestler. I am a podcaster, but above all that, I'm a maker. I love to make different types of things, and that is why I did this uh, rebranding of Break Night from being just about props to being about just creative ventures, period. I'm just dabbling in the world of woodworking, so I wanna do some videos on what I do, how I do it, some show and tells. I didn't wanna limit myself or any of you from any of the stuff that I like to do. So just being about props, which I haven't really done a prop in a while, is just not really fair to any of you. Definitely not fair to me. I enjoy the process of just making different types of stuff, whether it's refurbishing, making a prop, fixing stuff, whatever it is, I wanna be able to show you guys and really enjoy what I'm doing. So the Break Night Creative is just a nice overall name to cover all the bases of all the creative projects I like to do. So that's what this is. And now this video is about wrestling gear. For those of you who do know me and know what I've been doing over the last few years, you know I'm a professional wrestler and I've been getting back into it and making a bunch of wrestling gear and taking commissions to make wrestling gear for other guys. This one is actually uh, wrestling gear for myself. Knee pads that I made not too long ago that came out really great. These guys right here, just plain black knee pads. I use just regular black spandex uh, to put these together. And when I first made these a few months ago, they came out perfect. Uh, my only gripe with them was the padding. The padding that I used, I thought was great. It was just yoga mat padding and after one match, it pretty much got destroyed. This is the padding that was in there. And after one match, it got worn out. And especially after practicing and a couple other matches, it just was unacceptable to use. It didn't feel like it was supporting. It was just there. It was crumpling up while at my knee as if I wasn't wearing any padding at all, which just wasn't right. So I thought it was right to just get rid of these. With that said I decided to use the padding that I use for kick pads the uh, shin guards that you see a lot of wrestlers wear on their shins to kick people really hard uh, safely but mixing making some good hard sounds I think that padding that I use for that is really great and I don't see why I couldn't use it for this I think I just try to hang on to as much material as possible by not wasting that padding because I'm afraid it's just gonna become scarce if I use too much of it. Now that I re-padded it, I want to show you a little bit of my process of putting it together, so let's check it out. Now I'm getting started. Now I'm trying to find a middle point to where I can cut out the bottom part of the knee pad, which is the part that hugs your calf. Use an X-Acto knife and a seam cutter to get that taken out. Right after I do that, I try to get the opening to where I put the padding into the knee pad itself. And as you're gonna see, the padding is very worn out and torn to shreds. Now this is the padding I was talking about that is very durable and reliable that I really like that I use for my kick pads. And now I have my pattern that I developed and perfected after dissecting some old knee pads that I had to kind of have my own patterns laying around so I can do what I do with making knee pads for myself and other guys. Here I'm laying everything out, make sure I have all my pieces ready. And I always like to do everything simultaneously so I don't feel like I always have to start from the beginning with every piece that I do that has two pieces that are exactly the same. And I'm putting the pads in and spreading everything about so it just looks just right. Here I am stitching the opening to where I put the pad so I can sew that down before I put in the bottom part that goes around the calf. Now I could I could pin the uh, bottom part and the opening here together, but I always prefer to just do it separate. Now here I'm just trying it on to see how well it fits, and as it does, it fits just fine. And now I'm doing the exact same thing to the other knee pad, stitching the bottom, trying them both on together. I always like to try both pieces on at the same time, see how they both fit, see if there's any differences, and these are just fine. 
Here there's some excess right at the seams. After sewing, I always like to use a little bit extra and I'm just cutting that out so it's not just laying around. Now after fixing up the knee pads and putting new padding in there, uh, it definitely feels a whole lot better. I, after wearing different knee pads that I've made that have this padding in it, I know that it holds up really well. Same case for my kick pads. The kick pads hold up very well. I love being the guinea pig for my own projects. I take pride in being a professional wrestler and a seamstress or seamster, however you want to call it, and knowing exactly how a wrestler wants their stuff and how wrestling gear should be presented when you're wearing it in the ring. There's some flaws that I see and there's some pet peeves that I have when it comes to wrestling gear. On my podcast, you'll hear me talk about such things with my buddy Sean Iredale. That's pretty much my process. This is not it wasn't from beginning to end of how I make knee pads. It was just a way of showing you how to kind of dissect it if you ever want to touch up or redo any knee pads yourself. If you have a sewing machine and you feel like you can do it, or you can at least get an understanding of how I put this together. There's a lot more to it than what I presented to you in this video. I wanna thank you for joining me in the Break Night Creative Laboratory. Dexter's Lab reference. Thank you. So if you want to follow me, I am at Craven Knight on the Twitter and on Instagram. But if you want to just follow the projects that I do, you can follow at Break Night Creative on Instagram, but on Twitter at Break Night CRT is what it is. It's down there too. I am going to get a website up eventually. It's just a process that I'm not all that into. It's the one thing I don't like doing. I also have the podcast, a breaking night podcast that I do with my buddy Sean Iredale of his comic book company, Amberland Studio. Sean Iredale is an artist, comic book artist for his own company. So he produces a bunch of content. So check out amberlandstudios.com, see what they got going on, and check out the Breaking Night podcast to listen us talk about the creative processes that we have, being creative, watching the content that inspires us to be creative through the lenses that we have as creative individuals. If you don't listen to the podcast for me, listen to it for Sean Iredell because he's an amazing co-host to have to be on a podcast. So more people should listen. So check that out. Follow us on the social medias and um, I'll see you next time. Stay creative. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out.